And on Wednesday, October 4th, <laughs> with a functioning microphone, it's time for the 359 podcast. It's episode, what are we on now? 294? 294. I'm, I'm absolutely know. done Ever with so this close. week. And, so, uh, so close. And the whole dream team is here. Ben Fox Rubin, <laughs> Roger Chang, Alfred Ng. You had your hot mic moment today, didn't yeah, you? I yeah. screwed up my microphone when I'm talking about trying to get some overtime in here. <laughs> it's cool. Hey, you which you totally deserve. deserve. You totally it. deserve, by which the way. You deserve. Oh, yeah. We'll I, I, look, I'm totally on the record with you deserving overtime. I think uh, I might have said that. Never mind. I don't Let's know what he did going. during Let's that time. Let's move on. <laughs> Nobody cares about what we were just saying. <laughs> what everyone cares about, obviously, is Google and the big event. Um, you know, they just unloaded a whole lot of announcements. Man, they are going no. seriously in on hardware. What? <laughs> They're going I all mean, in on was, hardware. Alpha, was, what, so what did they announce today? Uh, I mean, where do I even start? So obviously, we're going to get started with the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 Large. Right. The XL, sorry. <laughs> we'll talk about Google uh, Clips. Yes, they're, they're a little life logging camera. Pixel Buds. We got, got the headphones, Pixel Buds. the Pixel Book, the Pixel Book Pen, right. the new Daydream VR, Home Mini, Home Max. These it, are all devices. We're not even, we haven't even gotten to the ones that we're going to try to make up, like the Pixel Dragon 2. Uh, but all right, so let's, let's move on to As the always, podcast. if you have any questions about any of these topics, uh, leave them in the comment section. Brian will get to them. Uh, we will do our podcast now, so we'll get to the questions in three minutes and 59 seconds. Get a little rusty there, Roger. I forgot what I was talking about. And I'm a little, I'm a little sick. I'm sorry, guys. I'm it's a little, all good. always sick. It's all That's good. true. We'll get you some OT. Am I doing the intro today for the show, by the way? Yes, or, you are. All right, cool. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go for the recording of the podcast. Be back to take your comments and questions in the chat in three minutes and 59 seconds from three, two... Welcome to the 359. I'm Alfred Ng. I'm Roger Shea. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. Where do we even start with Google's event today? Well, let's get started with the Pixel 2. Um, you know, they announced their follow-up to the first hardware phone that they had. What were your, your thoughts on it? I, you know, I liked it. It was good. Yeah, it was good. You know, I was I was just disappointed by a couple of things, right? No headphone jack, which sadly Apple's already killed. Uh, and then no dual lens camera. Which I was okay I, with that. I feel like it's become the de facto for any kind of high end premium phone. You got to have two lenses. You know, I think Google did a good job of explaining away why they didn't need it. You know, we've got uh, AI and machine learning. We could do bokeh effects. We don't need two lenses for that. We could first do of all, I'm I'm so sick of hearing the word bokeh. <sighs> In it's every single awesome. announcement. It's awesome. All right, fine. I have I mean, an if iPhone you, 6. If so you want, you can just it. call it portrait mode. But yeah, they basically said, you know, we don't really need uh, the hardware for this. We don't need two cameras when our software is able to kind of detect the background and you. So we have this portrait mode shot without really needing to spend more money on two camera lenses for it. Right. So, I mean, what do you guys think? I think that... The, the big hesitation that I would have about this phone is that it's missing the headphone jack. Other than that, I think that it really hits all the major elements. It does a lot of really impressive stuff. Also, if you're at all interested in Google Lens, which is their augmented reality mm. slash image recognition uh, concept, the only place you can get it, at least initially, is going to be through mm -hmm. the Pixel phones. So. Yep. They're really trying to sell this thing and try to get it moving in the market ahead of, you know, just and for all, trying to get it somewhere. All the criticism of not having dual lens, like their their single lens camera scored the highest DxO mark, which is sort of like this industry benchmark, mm -hmm. has the highest score ever, beating out the iPhone 8 Plus, which itself just got the highest score ever a few weeks ago. Look, and to be fair to Google, like looking at the iPhone 8, which, is, which was the newest uh, – uh, flagship phone available up until now this phone is different looking it does provide a lot of new technology into it and it does give people a good reason to upgrade i would think so yeah you brought up the headphone jacks earlier which you said was a problem that it didn't have but i you know after seeing what they had with the pixel buds oh yeah i don't really think that's an issue for them i mean the pixel buds are an expensive accessory they're like 150 bucks ouch uh, but, I mean, the, the real-time translations and that's, the way it seemed to work was kind of awesome, That's right? easily worth $150 on its, its own. It's incredible. I hope the UN starts using these things because that would be pretty <laughs> impressive. I, I am interested to see how it actually works. One of our right. colleagues, uh, Sean Hollister, was able to speak Japanese to it, and he yep. said that it worked perfectly fine. 
Um, there's like I saw the video. There's like a, a second delay as it's processing the language, but then it just spits it back out, and it, it works pretty well. Like if yeah. you can imagine two people wearing these buds and actually having a conversation with each other. I am mm. interested to see if it works on any device with Google Assistant and not just the Pixel Two, though. So we did. Uh, confirm that the but the translation feature only works with the pixels. That is unfortunate because yeah. I would have loved to buy that just to use that, you know. And lastly, well, we we do have to talk about the Google Home family getting a little bit bigger. The the Google Home Mini, Mini and, and the, the Max. Max. The Mini to compete with the Echo Dot. You know, it's around the same price, around yeah. the same size, except Google. Obviously, threw some shade at Amazon here. Was, you know, we don't have any oh. weird lights or ugly buttons. All right, this is cool. I like and the it's lights. Got fabric, um, and, <laughs> and the, the Max uh, to Google go Max against... to go up against the HomePod. Right. Um, you know, to show off the quality of their speakers. It's it's still cheaper than the HomePod, though, right? I I know that these. Speak... No, no, it's more expensive. <laughs> it's three. It's three hundred ninety nine dollars for this one, isn't it? Right, for and the, the HomePod is three forty nine. Yeah. Oh, so okay. They so they actually beat out Apple, oh, yeah. which is impressive. <laughs> yeah, that does not usually happen. All right, uh, that's all the time we had for today's show. Uh, for the rest, check us out on CNET.com. I'm Alfred Ng. I'm Roger Chang. I'm Ben Fox Rubin. Thanks for listening. No. <laughs> Okay, you can't you can't You're do not. that because Roger wasn't here for that. Roger <laughs> doesn't know what the joke is. I don't understand what's going so on. Do you want to explain to Roger what no, the hell that's, that's about? No, uh, we don't. That's the new, we just want to keep doing new it. show the new official outro of the show because of uh, David Katzmeyer <laughs> made it famous. Oh, I, I saw a tweet about that. What did yeah. he say? He just said, he said just damn whispered. it. As did the he very tweet out? So what had happened was... He's like, wait for the end where I like whisper a swear word. Mm-hmm. Ben, <laughs> a ben PG was word. trying to outro it and you know saying, like, thanks for joining us, David, or whatever. But he just David thought he, he would get to actually say goodbye on his own terms. Uh, <laughs> and no, so they, we don't do that. They crossed <laughs> wires do somewhere. So yeah. Ben, so you know, as it's wrapping up, David just... It was pretty awesome. <laughs> so yes, we will try to end with "damn it" as often as possible. Uh, I'm like, meanwhile, I'm like, what is going on here? <clears throat> it's okay. You missed you missed I mean, some fun. Times. Look, this is a late show. Our late shows are always a little punchy. A little, yeah, uh, three fifty nine after hours, yeah, baby. <laughs> Wait, we didn't even get to like some of the products. We I know. Yeah, I know. Like, that's what I'm saying. So we did not have enough time. The clips, by the way, I don't. I really don't know that those are going to sell. I, I was going to say harder, like I go actually, harder with that to say, like, I really don't think these are going to sell. But look, you never know. So I, and I I'm don't not know. Like those things cost, what, 250 150 Oh, 150 Yeah, I think no, it's No, no, no. It's, no, it's no, a no, body it's cam. 250. It's double, a body double cam. Double check. Like, why oh, would I just it? Remember, You're right. It is 250 I remember when I heard the price, I was like, what? <laughs> For that thing? I, uh, I, I understand the idea of, like, ambient... Uh, picture taking for your kids or your yeah, pets yeah. or whatever at the same time the price seems too high and i think people have gotten pretty freaked out about just like privacy privacy issues yeah. with some of this stuff. i can see like big name vloggers like buying it yes. so that they don't have yeah, they yeah, can yeah, just yeah. like carry YouTubers, it around yeah yeah totally right for certain people in certain usages definitely i don't know they but... you know they, they said they were specifically targeting parents and as a parent yourself would you be no. interested no Okay. No, I also don't have two hundred fifty dollars to That's spend true. on something As a like parent, this. You don't have that kind of disposable yeah. income. You're right. right. Like I already have my cell phone <sighs> camera, and at the same time, like yeah, taking out your phone and taking a picture does take you out of the moment a, a little. But I do, I do is want it to really know. worth the extra expense. I, I would argue against it for myself personally. So I would note that this feels a bit like a rehash of the HTC Re, mm-hmm. which was this very, I guess, little known. Camera it looked kind of like a like, snorkel. Yeah, it sounds like a snorkel. Sounds like I a screech. It cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you kind of held it, and you, there was a little bun there, kind of like a periscope. And uh, it was like it, the whole idea was like, this will this will uh, keep you from being out of the moment with mm-hmm. your phone, right? You'll just click on this, and you'll just have these photos or videos or whatever. It didn't sell well at all. And it, there was no, no one remembers it. I mean, I, I mentioned it to I didn't Alfred. Know it he existed. Didn't, he didn't mm-hmm. know it existed. Right. It, yeah. it was only a few years ago. It, it wasn't was, even that long. I don't think that Clips has a viewfinder on it either, which means that you might end up no. just getting pictures of people's feet sometimes, which is a problem. Well, I guess it depends on where you put it. Yeah, that's weird. Unless and you're also, like... they're, they're, they're saying that the AI on it like helps it like find faces and photos and shots. Like It won't really take a photo of like somebody's foot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like saying AI is going to solve everything yeah, at these, I, in these presentations. I noticed that. There was a lot of like machine learning this, AI that. Buzzword. Yeah. Buzzword. 
Yeah. Buzzword machine. <clears throat> bokeh. Okay. Uh, hey, bokeh like, is awesome. They actually didn't, they, they didn't say bokeh okay. on the internet. No, they said portrait mode. The yeah, they, they, they what did. They yeah. say they, they said, said portrait mode. They said neural beam forming. Yes. Neural beam. I saw heard them like, <laughs> "Oh, you guys can't stop yourselves from just these buzzwords." I mean, it sounds cool. No one knows what they mean. But uh, yeah. I spent the entire thing just trying to account for who was the most uncomfortably nervous on stage. Oh. oh. I think it was the person would, that had to do the AR um the stickers? Yes, the AR sticker stuff. Because uh, you have yeah. to, you can't tell, really? you can't was, tell where they are until really you look at the screen. I really thought she did a good job, actually. I, I feel like that's very endearing. These are, this is like a very big stage for some of these folks, yeah. and I think yeah. a lot of them are, are engineers that are of working course. Yeah, this feels well like in the background. But there was one dude who was comprised of 90% flop sweat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I'm guy. sorry, but like, yeah. I know these aren't professional presenters, no, and I I'm get trying it. not to I be super duper mean, but that's, that, that's how I got through the event, was being distracted by like oh this poor soul <laughs> and and to be fair i don't i'm not a professional presenter yeah either. i don't think i would do any what well, that's why they gave you a podcast yeah yeah i would go up on stage and like just puke and they just gave a podcast because there was no one left yeah my mom always told me <laughs> i have a face for podcasts <laughs> change, uh, what, why don't we take some questions we've folks. got we've got questions i'm hoping we do have some questions so All let's right. start off with uh with uh, an ongoing conversation that get kicked off by several people, um, M. Hill being the most notable. Can someone please explain the love affair with a headphone jack? I have an iPad with one, <laughs> and if I want to do high-fidelity listening, I'm not going to be using a phone. Dane uh, Thorman goes on to expand with 7 Plus for a whole year, not cared about the headphone jack mm. <clears throat> once. That's interesting. I, I will say yeah. this. The, the headphone jacks originally were like, I got to stick with this. You know, I, I need my headphone jacks kind of thing. Um, but I mean, you know, it's the, kind of, for iPhone users, it has kind of gone away. Yeah, like I, I have an iPhone Seven. I've managed fine. It's interesting. I, 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 it actually forced me to switch to Bluetooth headphones. Uh, I feel like was, Scott, when Scott Stein's in here talking about it, he says that it's a bigger pain in the ass than I think. He, it's like it's a, a lot bigger, of people readily. Admit. It's a bigger pain in the butt if you have invested in nicer headphones. If like I had a pair of Bose headphones. Mm -hmm. They're kind of nice to use on my phone, but I just but carry with, the dongle around. How often does this happen to you, though, where, you know, you get on the train or whatever, and then you put on your headphones like, oh, your your headphone batteries are dead. That is absurd to me. That should right. like, never happen. Or you You're, forgot your oh, dongle. Oh, you mean your Bluetooth headphones? Yes. Uh, yeah. I like That's the worst. That, to me, yeah. is like the, I hate, I, that, I mean, bad. I don't have Bluetooth headphones, but I would hate for that to happen. And I, that's my biggest reason why I've stuck with, like, traditional headphones. Right. right. And going it's, going back to the question, I think primarily what bothers a lot of people is is that that headphone jack has been a universal um, input for so long. Yeah. And now there, there are three different inputs. You either have lightning or USB-C or the regular headphone yeah. jack. And I think that does... That does get kind of confusing. Well, it gets confusing for me because I carry a Pixel and a and an iPhone, so I've got to deal with Lightning USB. That sounds horrible. I will say this: I don't uh, even get to deal with audio, an audio jack anymore. The, the I'm Pixel, so sorry, you're forced to carry two phones at all times. All right, all right. Sorry. The Pixel <laughs> first world problem. I know. Like I know. the Pixel Buds to me though is like kind of a good glimpse into like what the future of headphones could yeah. be because before it had always been this kind of like they're just headphones. You plug them in, you use them to listen to stuff. That's it. But now it's kind of like, okay, well, if we're going to make them wireless and we're going to put all this wireless capability in it anyway, what else can we add to it? Right. So, like, you know, you can control it through, like, swiping it and things like that. It, mm -hmm. it translates languages. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. I, I think I, I think this is just a lobby from the Bluetooth people. This is all conspiracy. <laughs> I like that idea. I agree with you, Alfred. However, I do like the idea of getting headphones packaged with your phone. You already spent 600 plus yeah. dollars. Which, by the way, last year, the Pixel did not come with a headphone. And I don't think it does. And this it doesn't year come either. with this, it just comes with the dongle. I'm glad you were saying that because James was just yeah. asking about that in the chat. Yeah, no headphones. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Which get basically means that I mean you, the idea is Google was gonna give you away this like phones. you have the headphones already, you could just plug into the dongle. But it's kinda weird that they didn't supply a USB C one. Yeah. Like just the standard one. So you have to deal with the dongle. At least Apple gave you the option of going dongle less. Uh you know, the first Android dongle. phone also didn't have a headphone jack and came with a dongle too. The is first that, is wait, that true? What? Yeah, the, the G1 oh, the G1. did not have a headphone jack. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Standards were a lot lower back then. <laughs> they were like, oh my God, it's a phone that has like, <laughs> it runs these apps? What, what's going on? Oh, wait, the, yeah, the headphone thing was not. Also, I'm sure, I'm, I'm pretty confident that if you even tried playing music on that phone, it'd like just 
die like, blow like up. in half no, a second. No, I had a G1. Yeah, I, had I did G1 too. For, it was it was a good phone. Did you use it to listen to music? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. More, more questions? More questions. All right, going back into the chat. Uh, James Favor again. He's become one of our our uh, best contributors. He's always got Shout really good questions. Shout out to James. What nice. up, JF? Uh, did they say anything about iMessage working on the Pixel? Nope. No. They said you could no, transfer no. it over. I feel like James may have asked that question yesterday did about he? iMessage. And we no, shut no, no, it down. no. iMessage is, look, I mean, it's that would iOS. Be a nice thing. It's that's locked not, into iOS. Yeah, it's not, not, not going to happen. For it. No, no, it but be, it's, it's it would not be nice something for users. It's not something that would be announced at a Google event. It mm. would be announced at an Apple event saying, hey, we're opening up iMessage. Apple would never, ever let Google make that, that announcement. Hmm. That's a good point, too. I'm tired of all these green bubbles. I know. Popping up with my texts. Mess with my blue. <laughs> Little, what? The tyranny of the blue bubble, man. Little greenheads. Oh, the iMessage. I that is bubble. the ultimate first world problem. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's it's sometimes it's really hard to stay balanced between your conversation and like the thoughtful, thoughtful <laughs> concepts <laughs> in the chat where people are like on topic and you're like, bubbles? <laughs> are you, are you this suggesting is on topic. This is about iMessage. We're yo. trolling the podcast. Yeah, there was some relevancy to the bubbles, all right? I get it. I get it. I get it. Just because you're a green bubbler, don't don't come at me. All right, all right, dude. He's running the show. He's Just, gonna cut your mic. Yeah, don't don't piss him off. <laughs> I mean, I already screwed up once today. <laughs> <laughs> all good. All right, uh, let's get a couple more questions in here. Thanks yeah. everybody for hanging out. It's been great having you. I know it's been a long day. Most of you already probably watched the entire keynote, so it's cool that you're chilling with us. Yeah, afterwards totally. As we just laugh about stupid crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vince Nicholas, does this come with honeycomb or gingerbread? Oh, um, no, it's, it's coming it's come with, Oreo. with Oreo. Yeah, it's coming out with the Why newest version. Oreo oh, wait, the is, game. Is, he, is he talking about like the, the Pixel book? Like, what's this? I'm it's assuming he's talking about the Pixel. I'm assuming the phone. phone, the phone yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that's coming with Oreo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's an honest question. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Wasn't last year, what was last year? Nougat. Nougat. It was Android N, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nougat. Jelly Bean was a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk about translation for a second. Uh, yeah, some people it. are wondering what the value of it um, being built in on the phones through the phone, th from the buds to the phone, when there are apps elsewhere that probably work just as well that you could that's, access. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, I mean, I think it's, it's done it's, through Home Assistant. It's not as I guess it's not as seamless. Not Home Assistant. The sorry, idea Google is like you're, I mean, the idea is like you're, you're just you know you're tapping a button on your ear, you're saying some words, and all of a sudden it pops up on your phone. I think the idea would be especially if. Uh, yeah, the, 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 it's, it's a little bit more seamless than just having I mean, to open an app. Do you think that they're going to open it up to like third-party like apps, though? I don't know. Where, I think you know. That would be – it seems like from you know the, the kind of limited use that they're putting, this, just, this being just for Pixel, that I think they're going to keep this kind of contained. That's kind of disappointing. I hope they would at least open it up to like the Pixel 1. It may, it may be a hardware thing. I yeah, don't know. I don't know. Uh, do you guys have the specs handy while we're at it here? Uh, I don't. Uh, Alfred, I pull will it? pull them up. Please do. On this uh, laptop. In, in the meantime, <laughs> uh, let's talk about the colors. Uh, is the blue going to be exclusive to Verizon from what we understand? I believe so, right? The kind of blue? Kind of blue. blue. I, I mean, love their color names, the kind, by I think the kind way. of blue is... They love their color names, by the way. Oh, they really love... I mean, they, they really pat themselves on the back on being it's so It's great, because like, you, you get all these like BS names. It's like, Cobalt. Uh, yeah, but I feel like steel blue. I feel like Google <laughs> definitely pats itself on the back a little bit too much for like, look how clever we are fun. with our names. Alfred, can you give us your best? Uh, uh, what's it? Blue steel. Blue steel. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was his blue steel for a second. Like it was. Uh, it kind of was. Okay. Somebody's, somebody's right. gonna screenshot it. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's a that's a meme just waiting to happen. Um, uh huh. So throwing this out there, what do you think of Verizon continuing to get the exclusive deal? I mean, it's funny that T-Mobile actually put out their announcement before I got my Verizon announcement that mm. like you can get basically half off on your. Uh, really? I think if you like trade in your phone, you get like half off the Pixel, the Pixel Two, mm. which is the same deal they had last year. Wait, I don't get it. Do you have to bring the Pixel Two with you? To, you? I'm sorry, you, have to, you. I think you bring your. You could bring your Verizon Pixel. To T-Mobile and like they'll take your phone and like swap it out or whatever. I forget mm. what the I forget what the deal was. But, but either way, they're like they're trying to get in on it because they oh, know absolutely. this is a flagship phone. So yeah, they yeah, wanna, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Pixel Pixel Two specs, courtesy of CNET.com. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up for us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Display size, 5 inches for the Pixel 2, 6 inches for the Pixel 2X, 441 PPI. That's uh, pixel density. Pixels uh, per inch. Yes, uh, versus 538. Uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 18 by 9 x aspect ratio on the XL. Uh, let's look at their, like, why do we not have their, like... I'm assuming it uses the Qualcomm. Yeah, it, it should. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the processor. Yeah, it's not, like, listing that on our spec site for some reason. Well, which, at least you got the display. That's not good. The display size. That's yeah. probably the most important one. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Alfred. Yep. Uh, let's get to a couple more quick questions before we call it a day. Uh, Jarrett Topping. Hey. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. That's what we just covered. He was asking about the uh, about the specs. Uh, Nick Hill. I, I Nick Hill. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and I apologize. Uh, do you think the LG V30 problem could take place on the Pixel 2, and is the problem uh, the the band problem on less brightness? I'm not Whoa, really sure. I don't. I don't even know what that question is about. I'm not really sure what. Yeah, that is. it's a Snapdragon 835. Okay. Yeah, this is the latest one. So I'm sorry, the LG V30 problem. Yeah. What give is us the, more info. Give yeah, us a little Nico, bit more context. Could you please give us more? What problem are you referring to? Because it sounds like a, a good talking point, but I'm not really sure where you're coming from. Mm. Um, IP67 from James again. Is that the same as the new iPhone? I what? believe so. The, the, the water the, resistance the water level. Resistance. Let's see. I believe it is. I actually think it's. Yeah, and thank God they finally got to like water resistance on this one because the original Pixel didn't have it, and yeah. everybody was kind of disappointed. Although this one doesn't have wireless charging, which I was a little disappointed about. I hate to use the word table stakes, but I don't think wireless charging is table stakes quite yet. I don't know. I feel like when Apple keep puts it out there, talking about table stakes, what is that even supposed to mean? Just means it's just, just like the, the baseline. For, it's, it's like, like a, it's a gambling term. Uh, it's like it's okay. like this it's is like the, the minimum base expectation. Oh, basically. Yeah. Okay. Like you need okay. to have this to even play the game. Oh. Okay, I've never been to CES. So. <laughs> you poor, poor guy. I don't really know what gambling is. Nyko's <laughs> chimed back in. The V30 band problem, where the brightness is less. I'm still not sure what that's referring to. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I know. Uh, you're talking about band as in uh, radio band or bright band as in. I don't know. I, I admittedly don't know a ton about the, the V30. V30 band as in like maybe the upper screen, like the separate display? Uh, it's a screen problem as LG is supplying the screens for XL2. Oh. I think in general. Oh, oh, LG is providing the OLED screens. I get it. Um, I, I wasn't even aware. I'm sorry. I wasn't well, even aware v of the V30 screen problem. A, a, I, I may have read a little bit about this, like, randomly. Low I would brightness they, in a dark room. The right. screen is grainy and dirty uh, and has hor horizontal brand banding all over it. That's what he's referring to. So hopefully uh, horizontal they, band. Okay. Hopefully they fixed some of that because the V30 is not a, a new phone, like, not a super new phone. Well, so. just, it's only it a few months old. Out. A few months old, right. It, it gave, like, if this was a software issue, it at least gave Google a little bit of time to, like, smooth it out before they announced the Pixel. I mean, I, I wouldn't be as worried because... Uh, the V30, I mean, that's made by LG's mobile division, so I'm sure there was some issues there that Google's basically just using LG as a, a, a supplier of one component, so mm -hmm. were less, guys, I think it's less likely. Were you guys surprised at all that the Pixel 2 didn't try to do the whole like full screen thing that everyone's trying to do now? No, I wasn't surprised because of all the leaks, but yeah. Uh, at least it doesn't have a notch. It's true. Yeah. And at least it like costs a reasonable amount of money. Yeah. Even like a thousand dollars for a notch phone. I, I don't know. People <laughs> people are still gonna like show off the iPhone X as much Ten. as they want. No, I'm gonna go with X. Whoa. You know, what? Brian Brian yelled at me. I can't win with you guys. I said ten yesterday and Brian said say X. Why did you say Why? that? You're a bad influence, you Brian. It's a bad We're influence. <laughs> he also, I mean, he also says Mario, so. That's... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Michael yeah. Brown's got my back on that one, though. No, iPhone X, it sounds 90s. I feel like I should be drinking a Mountain yeah, Dew It's extreme. It is extreme. <laughs> Here I am on my scooter yeah. with my X. All right. Uh, we got one more question from John Constantine. Great name, by the oh, way. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, right. Do not kill me. It, this, this is a great kind of that's jump just... off point because we haven't really talked much about the Pixel book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, we totally ignored that thing. Well, here's here's a great way to kind of bring it all home. Uh, John Constantine, would any of you, referring to uh, everyone here at the table, be willing to use a Pixelbook Chromebook on the podcast? I certainly would. On the podcast, uh, sure. I mean, I mean we're not really doing. <clears throat> too yeah, much we're not. Yeah. I mean, if it's besides... just browsing for stuff and 
occasionally like sending an email to Ben. Yeah, I would use it. I don't think I'd shell out like a thousand dollars for it. That, that's the only issue. That is, I mean, Chromebooks are are popular because they're cheap. Yeah, right? and so a high end Chromebook seems like. It's like the well antithesis my, of what I know. It's I would almost put my money it, somewhere else. It would be else. like a high end Amazon tablet. Like that was oh that God, was how yeah. they forced themselves into that market was by being the lower end to you know. And like Apple. currently, like for if you wanted like a really good you know Chromebook anyway, that's only about like six hundred dollars, and that's right. still even like pricey. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I did use I used a, a Samsung Chromebook like nine while I was out at DEF CON, mm. um, and I used it for like a full week, and it was great. Um, but Look, I didn't. Maybe, maybe, app, um, sorry, maybe Google is looking at this as uh, kind of like how Microsoft is doing a lot of their Surface yeah. Uh, yeah. devices. Like where, a Halo product. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it's, it's to yeah, me, but it I, being a Chromebook, I, I, I agree that uh, Chromebook usually means it's supposed to be lower. And I also but feel I, like I, the partners have done a pretty good job of making Chromebooks that people yeah. want to buy. Like that was the issue with Microsoft. They decided to make these Surface books because. They want to sort of set the agenda for what these should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think, you know, this is exactly their, like, point. They're trying to compete with the iPad Pro and mm. the, um, like, Surface Books, not, you know, other laptops out there. I think it's trying to directly compete with, like, the convertible, like, hybrid right. market. And if I'm comparing this Chromebook versus a Surface Book and a iPad Pro. Well, I would, Surface Pro. Yeah, Surface Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would probably go with the, the Pixel Book. Mm. Okay. Because that has access to like Android apps as well. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. And that's about all the questions we got for the day. At least that's all we can cover for right now. There you oh, go. Uh, I do have one question for Roger that has percolated since you've been out. Sure. Uh, so Apple has the OLED screens that they're getting from Samsung. Yeah. Do you think that there could be a second supplier out on the wings at some point, whether it be LG or somebody else? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. In fact, I mean, I was surprised LG wasn't involved this time around. Right, especially because like Samsung, like they're like blood enemies. I mean, well, not I really. feel like they've really no, like Samsung and Apple. They've been uh, in and out. No, I feel they like might. they've kind of chilled yeah. out for a while now. Hmm? Okay. I mean, there's still some pending litigation, but like they've really kind of ratcheted down the, the hostilities. Like Apple really is pissing on Qualcomm now. Like that's their that's their they, big enemy. Yeah, Can't be on two things at the same time. Exactly. I've tried. <laughs> that's how we're gonna end yeah, the podcast. Yeah. That's three fifty nine after hours for you guys. <laughs> You want, you want to end it? All end right. it. Go for it. Uh, if you liked what you heard today, uh, anything P related, uh, the 359 podcast is available on iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, SoundCloud, FeedBurner, Google Play Music, and of course, CNET.com. CNET.com. <laughs> we are not on tomorrow, by the way. Uh, but well, our podcast, I think we're going to do audio. Uh, we're we're, gonna try, we're, we're gonna going to try to, try to do an audio podcast. Um, Alfred is not invited. Yeah. I'm, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> but we will be back on Monday. Be busy peeing. Come on, guys. <laughs> Stop. Stop with the pain. Get busy peeing or get busy dying. Thank you for I'm, watching, I'm like everyone. I'm red right now. Okay. <laughs>